And from the World Cup in Qatar to Qatar Gate, the bribery scandal which has rocked the European Parliament. On this show, I've often called it the great European heist. Sordid tales of powerful lawmakers stashing away cash in suitcases have gone viral. Whatever is known so far has certainly put the European Parliament's credibility in question. The EU can no longer claim to be the moral authority of the world. And tonight, we put the spotlight on one particular couple, the Brangelina of Brussels. Our next report gets you more. Suitcases loaded with cash, phones and computers seized, senior politicians arrested. Qatargate, or the Great European Heist, is the biggest corruption scandal to hit the European Union in 25 years. And the details emerging with each passing day are only making it murkier. At the heart of the scandal is a couple called the Brangelina of Brussels. Eva Kaili and Francesco Giorgi, a glamorous former TV presenter turned member of the Greek Parliament. Kaili was elected a member of the European Parliament in 2014. Three years later, she began her relationship with Francesco Giorgi, nine years her junior. The couple shared a taste for the high life. Their social media accounts are full of images of them sailing in the Aegean, skiing in the Alps, living the good life at other exotic locations. Their pictures usually provided fodder for tabloids in Greece. Over the years, they became the it couple. For now, they are locked up in Belgian jail cells, facing charges of corruption and money laundering. Hence the name Brangelina of Brussels. The Brangelina of Brussels was allegedly part of an organization used by Morocco and Qatar to influence their ties with Europe. Georgi has confessed to his role in a bribery network, allegedly set up by Moroccan intelligence. Reports say he has also confessed to working for Qatar's government. Kaili and Qatar both continue to deny any involvement. When Kaili met Giorgi, he worked as an assistant to Pier Antonio Panzeri. The 67-year-old veteran politician was in the European Parliament for 15 years. He has now been charged with corruption. Earlier this month, when Belgium's intelligence service broke into Panzeri's home, they found an unbelievable amount of cash. 700,000 euros, most of it in crisp new 50-euro notes. Intelligence agencies landed up at Panzeri's door after a year of probe, with counterparts from five different countries. Raids were expanded to multiple locations across the Belgian capital. It led to a seizure of more than 1.5 million euros in cash, thus unfolding the biggest scandal. In 2019, Panzeri had also set up a human rights charity in Brussels. The irony is not lost on us. The board of this charity was stuffed with the great and good. Bernard Cazeneuve, former French Prime Minister, Emma Bonino, former European Commissioner, Federica Mogherini, former EU Foreign Policy Chief. It's important to note that none of them are accused of any wrongdoing. But Panzeri, who is also a suspect in the scandal, had big names of European politics by his side. Investigators say Panzeri used this NGO as a vehicle for Qatar to influence the European Parliament. The reputation of the European Union democracy is now in the hands of this man, Michel Claes, nicknamed the Sheriff. He is today one of the most successful prosecutors of his generation. He's delivered results in major cases of complex financial crimes, including money laundering gangs in Belgian football clubs, drug trafficking and tax evasion by bankers. So what is the European Parliament doing to fight the criticism? Not much. President Roberto Mezzola promises a new plan next year to reinforce ethical standards and more protection for whistleblowers. Meanwhile, European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen has pledged to speed up her plan for a watchdog for the bloc. 
You see, European leaders are desperate to stop the crisis from trashing their image. But the scandal, which is way beyond just a couple grabbing gifts, has done serious damage to the European Parliament's credibility. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.